Right now at 430, no break in the heat again today. Heat index temperatures could be over 100 degrees. All the details coming up right here. Plus, a Rowan County community on edge after several mailboxes exploded. We'll tell you what caused it as officials continue searching for the suspects. And new details this morning on the confrontation between the Trump campaign and Arlington National Cemetery. WCNC Charlotte at 430 starts right now. News that impacts you. You're watching WCNC Charlotte News at 430. Happy Thursday, everybody. Thanks for starting early with us. I'm Ben Thompson and I'm Sarah French. We have a lot to get to this morning, but first let's send it over to Larry Sprinkle for a look at your WCNC weather impact forecast. Good morning, Larry. Good morning. It's a clear sky morning and it is the coolest time of the day. Rather muggy out there in advance of another very hot afternoon. We have an air quality alert in effect for the Shaw metro area today, but includes Shaw to Huntersville and the Pineville Concord over towards Matthews. And that's from 10 a.m. till 8 p.m. Uh, unhealthy for sensitive groups. Anybody with any type of respiratory problem, limit your time outside, especially as we have the afternoon. We do have uh, one advisor as far as a heat advisory, and that's really over towards Rockingham. That is from Rockingham all the way to the Carolina coastline. Does doesn't include the Charlotte area, but does uh, indicate they're going to see heat index temperatures well over 105, maybe up to 108 degrees later today. Uh, current readings include a cooler 62 at Boone, 73 at Hickory. Lancaster matches that as well as Monroe. We're at 78 degrees right here in the Queen City under clear skies. Check this out as we head towards the afternoon. Get ready. Mid-90s today with a stray storm or two. We'll check that full 70 forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Ben. Larry, thanks. Right now, Rowan County authorities are searching for who put firecrackers inside several mailboxes. The blast strong enough to put holes in them and has neighbors on edge this morning. As officials continue to investigate what happened, they're urging anyone in a two to three mile radius of five forks and Highway 152 to be on alert. Here's WCNC Charlotte's Tradisha Woodard. Right now at 5 a.m. time to take off. Today marks the start of the last major travel weekend of the summer. We're live at Charlotte Douglas with the impact for your weekend. Plus, not even a week into the school year, CMS is already facing bus issues. The concerns from parents who say their kids aren't getting home until after 6 at night. And the city of York tells us why it's ending curbside recycling and what people can do instead. And later, equal opportunities. We connect the dots on how schools are required to support students with disabilities. WCNC Charlotte at 5 a.m. starts right now. News that impacts you. You're watching WCNC Charlotte News at 5. Live pictures right now over Uptown this morning. It is going to be a hot one, folks, likely the hottest day of the week. So stay out of the sun and make sure you are drinking plenty of water. Thanks for starting your Thursday with us. I'm Ben Thompson and I'm Sarah French. Our team is standing by to get you ready for the day. Destiny Richards in for Chris Mulcahy with a look at your morning commute. But let's begin with Larry Sprinkle and a check on that WCNC weather impact forecast. Hey there, Larry. Hey, good morning. Yeah, not, not a bad start. I mean, it's kind of muggy out there, but at least things are calm all across the area from Kannapolis to Rock Hill to Lake Norman to Monroe over in Union County, North Carolina. Things are OK. Right now at 530, unwanted delivery, a Rowan County community on edge after someone planted explosives inside their mailboxes and the suspects are still out there this morning. Plus, growing calls for more transparency in the town of Matthews, why some leaders want to make public records easier for you to find and the reason others aren't on board with the idea. A mild temperature morning, a very, very hot afternoon. Just how hot will it be in your neighborhood? All the details coming up right here. And competition for the 2024 Paralympics officially now underway. We're taking a look back at the opening ceremony. Plus, meet the local woman who's making her mark in Paris. WCNC Charlotte at 530 starts right now. News that impacts you. You're watching WCNC Charlotte News at 530. 
Good Thursday morning, everybody. The heat and humidity are sticking around today with a chance of rain this afternoon. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Sarah French and I'm Ben Thompson. Our team sitting by getting you ready for your Thursday. Destiny's in for Chris. She's got a first check of your morning commute. But first, let's go ahead and begin with Larry Sprinkle and a check of that WCNC weather impact forecast. Hey, good morning. We'll take that four camera view. We like to do this time every morning from Kannapolis to Rock Hill over towards Lake Norman and Monroe. Everything is calm out there this morning. As Labor Day is soon upon us, we're talking holiday travel. I'm at Charlotte Douglas, where the lines are already picking up for this busy weekend. Plus, the bus stops here, not even a week into the new school year, and CMS already seeing problems with buses. The concerns from parents. No break in the heat until next week. All the details coming up right here. Mailboxes blowing up. Make sure it don't explode if I try and open it. What we're learning was behind a series of explosions in a Rowan County neighborhood. And some of your pet's favorite snacks could actually be poisoning them. At 645, we verify if dangerous chemicals are in your pet's treats. It's Thursday, August 29th. News that impacts you. You're watching WCNC Charlotte News at 6. Live pictures right now over Uptown Charlotte on this Thursday morning. And folks, it's going to be another hot and humid day today. Perhaps the hottest day we're going to see this week. Thanks for starting your day with us here. I'm Ben Thompson. And I'm Sarah French. Our team is standing by to get you ready for the day. Destiny Richards going to have a first check of your morning commute. But let's begin with Larry Sprinkle and a look at that WCNC weather impact forecast. Larry. Hey, good morning. We take a look at Monroe, North Carolina from our Mr. Sparky Carolina camera network. Quiet morning there. Monroe, Union County, North Carolina. As far as what's happening today, we do have an air quality alert. Right now at 630, talk about unwanted mail. A Rowan County neighborhood on edge after somebody buddy, planted explosives in their mailboxes. The warning now for other homeowners. Plus, the holiday weekend is almost here. We'll tell you how holiday travel numbers could impact your plans. Clear skies and warm this morning. Sunny and hot this afternoon. Just how hot will it be in your neighborhood? I've got all the details coming up right here. And at 645, we verify whether common household items can be poisonous to your pets. WCNC Charlotte at 630 starts right now. News that impacts you. You're watching WCNC Charlotte News at 630. Good morning. We're taking a live look over Lake Norman. Going to be a good day to get out on the water. Going to be another hot one. Thanks for waking up with us on this Thursday morning. I'm Sarah French. And I'm Ben Thompson. Could be the hottest day of the week. Our team standing by getting you ready for the day ahead. Destiny's in for Chris. She's going to have a check of your morning commute. But first, let's begin with Larry Sprinkle and a check of that WCNC weather impact forecast. Larry. Hey, good morning. Let's take a look and show you uptown Charlotte from our view camera and that 76 degree temperature reading dew point at 70. That's why it is a muggy morning with light winds. 76 clear skies here. 71 over at Shelby in Cleveland County, North Carolina. Low 90s tomorrow for the weekend. Not a wash up. Few storms are out there. I think the best thing about that seven day forecast is looking ahead of next Tuesday and Wednesday. High temperatures in the 70s for a change. Been a long time. All right. Well, we need the rain. Yeah. Goodness, a 20 degree difference between <laughs> this Thursday yes. and next yeah, week. Wow. All right. Will we have updates throughout the Today Show? And we'll see you back here at 1130. Have a great Thursday, everyone. Today, with your host Mia Atkins and Eugene Robinson. Well, happy, happy Monday. We hope you are enjoying your extended holiday weekend, enjoying Labor Day with your family and friends. Okay, now guess what? If you love odd foods, you may love this. It turns out there's a new viral drink combo, it's a mixture of wine and Gatorade, known as Gator Wine. Now, it turns out that people are taking to social media to give it a try, and most say it's not too bad. Gator Wine connoisseurs say the best pairing for the drink is a cheap red wine and the light blue Glacier Freeze Gatorade. I love Gatorade, so I'm gonna have to give this one a try. 
Right now on WCNC Charlotte, the last 24 hours at the airport has been a nightmare for thousands of travelers with more than 100 flights canceled overnight. Some were left spending the night in the terminal. Plus, three suspects are still on the run as we speak after customers and employees were hurt with bear mace during a Harris Teeter robbery. And could young voters be the big difference at the polls this November? As election days are just weeks away, Gen Z and millennials share their priorities at the ballot box. Thanks for joining us for the news at 1130. I'm Sarah French. As we speak, millions of travelers are packing airports and roads today as the long holiday weekend wraps up. But this morning, yesterday's bad weather is adding to the chaos at Charlotte Douglas. Right now, there are 96 delays and 29 cancellations. WCNC Charlotte's Richard Devane camped out at the airport and joins us with the very latest. Right now on WCNC Charlotte at noon, the last 24 hours at the airport has been a nightmare for thousands of travelers with more than 100 flights canceled overnight. Some were left spending the night in the terminal. Unhoused people in Gastonia sharing their frustrations after the closure of the Salvation Army shelter ahead. The next steps for those who are housing insecure. And this week, a key vote in the development of the highly anticipated red line coming up here from the Matthews mayor sharing why he's pushing back against the project. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining us for the news at noon. I'm Sarah French. As we speak, millions of travelers are packing airports and roads today as the long holiday weekend wraps up. But this morning, yesterday's bad weather is adding to the chaos at Charlotte Douglas. Right now, there are 107 delays and 29 cancellations. WCNC Charlotte's Richard Devane camped out at the airport and joins us now with the latest. It's a beautiful day today. Enjoy it. Enjoy the day tomorrow. We'll be back, right? We will. Yeah. Right Dark here. and early, as we say. <laughs> okay. Larry, thank you. And thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, we hope you had a wonderful long weekend and travel safe if you are traveling back home today. And we'll see you back here tomorrow morning starting at 4.30 a.m. See you then. Download the WCC app on these devices. Right now on WCNC Charlotte, a school bus ride home for elementary school students turning into a nightmare for parents. Tonight, we're hearing from those parents after the driver was charged with DWI. Plus, a busy day at Charlotte Douglas, the airport expected to see record-breaking travel, all while getting ready for some changes. And it's Friday, so you know what that means. High school football across the Queen City, but districts here and across the country dealing with a referee shortage what they're doing to keep officials on the field. And as we continue to help to clear the shelters in our community, we're highlighting ways you can help our four-legged friends, even if you're not ready to adopt. WCNC Charlotte News at 4 starts right now. And thank you for joining us here at 4 o'clock. I'm Nick Sturdivant, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich and Brittany Van Voorhees are standing by with your weather and traffic. We'll get to them in just a moment, but first, we begin with breaking news. In Salisbury, hazmat teams, fire crews, and Piedmont Natural Gas are responding to a tank collapse. This is happening on Cedar Springs Road at a facility between Norion and Hinkle Corporation. At this point, we only know this involves unknown chemicals. Fortunately, no one has been hurt. Emergency personnel are working to stabilize the issue. WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker is heading to this scene. As soon as he gets there, he will join us for a live report. In the meantime, you can get the latest information on our website, WCNC.com or in the mobile app. And that was Maggie Vesper reporting. Vanessa Rufus joins us now for the news at five. My kids just came in screaming at the top of their lungs, crying. <laughs> Now at five, parents shocked and terrified to find out their children's bus driver was allegedly driving while impaired. Tonight, neighbors recount the chaotic scene. 
Plus, Labor Day weekend is here and thousands are heading to the airport, but airport officials say travelers should expect some changes upon their return. And Friday night lights make their return, but some schools say they're having trouble finding refs for the games. Coming up why a shortage is creating safety concerns for students and how officials are trying to recruit more. We begin with breaking news at this hour. As we speak, fire and hazmat crews are stabilizing a gas leak in Salisbury. We're told a tank collapsed and hit a gas line between the Nuryan plant and Henkel Corporation. That's on Cedar Springs Road. Officials say nobody is hurt and any possible hazards are contained. We've got a team at the plant and we'll keep you updated as we learn more. Thank you for joining us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Nick Sturdivant in for Colin Mayfield. And I'm Vanessa Rufus, all new at 5. A mother furious tonight after she says her children were hurt while on a school bus and the person behind the wheel is alleged to be impaired. Yeah, police arrested the Oakdale Elementary School bus driver for driving while impaired with 21 children on board. We're now learning parents stepped in and stopped the bus before police arrived. WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman is joining us live from the Northwest Charlotte neighborhood where this all went down. Julia, it sounds like quite a dramatic scene. Shout out to Trey. Well, Trey is so beloved in this community. A local ice cream shop decided to name a flavor after him. It's called Hearts and Hugs. Sells for his flavor benefit his church youth ministry group. The news continues right now at 6 with Vanessa. Nick, thank you. We begin here at six with some breaking news. We're following within the last hour new information just coming into our newsroom on that hazmat situation in Salisbury. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Vanessa Rufus. We're told a water tank collapsed, causing this gas line to rupture. And this happened between the Norian plant and Henkel Corporation. That's on Cedar Springs Road. Piedmont natural gas crews have secured the gas line that happened within an hour of the incident. And as a precaution, both plants were evacuated. We are told one employee was hurt. They are expected to be okay. And some water from the collapse got into a drainage system, so that ended up reaching a creek. The State Department of Environmental Quality is on scene to assess that situation. Drivers should still avoid the area. And we're going to have some storms down in, in Darlington area, probably all across the Carolinas, as that front pushes it on Monday. And then by Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we start to see cooler temperatures, not necessarily drier. We actually could see rain next week with the cool temperatures. So yes, there's a cool down on the way, but it's not going to be sunny and cool. Oh. It could be cool and wet. Oh my. Honestly, oh. I'll take it. Yeah, it's been yeah. too hot. It we need some rain. Yeah. Too hot. Okay. Well, you heard it here, folks. Hope you have a great holiday weekend. Thanks so much for joining us for the news at six. Of course, we're back at 11. Nightly news is next. Download the WCC app on Roku and Fire TV. Tonight at 11, the town of Oakboro asking Stanley County for law enforcement protection. This after a majority of police officers resigned from the force. The impact to residents tonight. More scatter storms in the holiday weekend forecast, but not a washout. I'll show you those impacts in your forecast. Then seeking solutions in Anson County, how a former jail has now turned itself into a place for learning. BRT is a very poor uh, substitute for light rail. New calls for a transit summit in Mecklenburg County. The mayor of Matthews now trying to stop a compromise. I'm Vanessa Rufus. And I'm Colin Mayfield. WCNC Charlotte News at 11 starts right now. News that impacts you. You're watching WCNC Charlotte News at 11. And we start tonight with an update to a story we've been following for weeks. WCNC Charlotte has learned amid an officer exodus, the Oakboro Police Department will soon have just two officers on the job. And tonight, town leaders are in conversations with the Stanley County Sheriff's Office to have their deputies step in. WCNC Charlotte has exclusively obtained a contract between both sides that outlines this agreement. Here's WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker. Today's journey ended with a successful parachute aided touchdown just after 10 minutes uh, after liftoff. Wow, yeah. man, it's so cool to see history books. She will be yeah. in, I'm sure.
Yeah, hot weekend ahead, guys. One last hurrah for maybe the 90s, dare I say it. But next week, certainly cooler. It gets even cooler as we go into the middle of the month. I actually stay below average for a while in September. Last 90s. Say it again. I nice love focus. it. Fingers crossed. <laughs> no last hurrah. Just say goodbye yeah. and walk out the door, 90s. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a good night, guys.